What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. So last I left, we we're kind of like making a couple breakthroughs against the Russians here. So I was kind of giving it a couple hours thought and I was like, should I kind of surround these guys? I was thinking more and more on it. I don't think that's a good idea. And the reason why I don't think it's a good idea is even if I can get this unit to come around, oh, I could still attack them. Cool. Even if I can get around them, cut off these two roads, by the time I get around here, there'll be another two or three units stacked up here. And, you know, it, it, it's... It, it, it's gonna be hard to kind of get my arms around that Russian bear. You know, I'm not gonna be able to have my hands meet on the other side, in essence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick at them and start destroying their armor and their infantry. But the core of my force, I believe, I'm going to kind of throw against these guys. The reason being is I can easily kind of send a couple of armored units and kind of put pressure here, destroy this lot here, and then kind of move that way feel like I could do that more easily than I can over here. And in regards to this breakout, this one's, I mean, it's tough. The reason why it's tough, I think, damn, man, that's bad. I think it's just a river. Yeah, what the fuck. Yeah. And the Air Force is all used up. Yeah, boy. So, yeah, I, I feel like I could actually do that. The only problem is, comes down to the same old, same old, right? I have three armored units here. I'm literally, like, shit out of troops because, like, I can't fill this hole. Right? I, can't, I, don't, I don't even think there's anybody I can move there. I'm gonna have to move somebody from the eastern front, I mean, western front. And... No, nope, can't do that. Shit. So now there's going to be a hole here. Maybe I can move these units and then figure something out. But there's going to be a hole. It's going to be pretty big. That's the problem. The only problem is, is like, even if I can get these guys to come around... This is going to be a fucking problem, I'll tell you. Because even if I can consolidate any forces and try to kind of surround them with even with these two guys, that means that's going to lead them to come around and attack me from this side. So it's really... I think it's going to be really problematic at this point. I think what I should do is uh, mechanized. I need to cut them off from this force, so we're gonna do that. Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. This is bad. This is some bad shit. This is some bad shit. There are literally millions of Russians. Holy shit. Wow. I'm just like flabbergasted. I don't have enough forces to deal with this shit. Wow. <laughs> Fuck me. Shit. Nice, okay. That should cut off these Russians here. That will allow me to redeploy some forces 
gotta move this guy here. And this guy. Nice. All right. All right. We're getting there slowly but surely. Surrounded those guys. All right. So it's not that they're not going to be that big of a problem now. All right. Shit. I can't fucking believe this. There's so many fucking Russians. I'm kind of like flabbergasted at this point. I'm like, what the fuck? Because like... I want to kind of continue the attack behind Russian lines here. And just eat the... F like, just beat the shit out of them. But at the same time... I'm worried. Because the amount of troops that they have, I mean, they could easily surround me and just cut off my supplies, and then there goes these guys. So I'm kind of worried about that. But, you know, look at these numbers. Look at these numbers. Two for five, man. You know, one for three, one for four. I mean, it, it, it's some good numbers. So I feel like if I push in here and I hit, right, and I hit again because he's a five, I can knock this tank out. And it may make a plug. Yeah, I don't want to take the risk. What's war without risk? Looking good. I mean, if I can concentrate now. Can you move? No, you're stuck. You're stuck. Shit. Maybe if I can get... If I can angle these guys. If you can come here. Damn, there's six. Alright, let's try this. Russian interceptors. Escorts. Minus three, fuck, that's bad. Minus two. Alright, that's okay. Fucking Russian interceptors. Minus two, minus one. Minus one, good. Minus one. Alright. Kind of nibbling at their freaking resources here. You can't, right? No. No. Alright, I think every... Can you do strafing runs? No, you can't. All right. I'm hoping that helped out a little bit. Yes, it did. You see those numbers improved. All right. Minus three. Hit him again. Minus two. So I'm closing that noose, man. Shit. That was some good shit. That was some good stuff right there. I mean, they're feeling... They're feeling it. Wish I could pull those guys back. They're gonna get hit hard. Let's concentrate on this guy. Nice. Alright. We are going to send... Let's get this Air Force. Ah, shit. I gotta re 
reinforce that army. Shit, this is this this is tight, man. This is tight. If I hit this guy, it'll be yes minus three. Ah, ah shit. All right, <laughs> trying to see what else I can bring over to the east. Oh, man, this is some bad shit. You know, and that, that, that's the other thing in this game is... Hold on, I gotta take a sip of my beer. Mm. Ah. All right, is I don't have the resources of southeastern Europe. Right, I don't have Bucharest. I mean Romania. I don't have Yugoslavia, Greece. You know, Aust is this Austria? Austria, Hungary. I don't have their resources. Right. So because I don't have their resources, especially the oil, right? I don't have these MPs. Like right there, that's 15 MPs. That would help me out greatly, but I don't have it, and they're not in on my. I wish I see should have actually declared war on them in 39 but all I have is what I got in France Denmark Norway and I only have Norway because you know I contributed a couple of MPs to that but if I can do this all myself it's gonna be some good stuff yeah let's do another core I'm gonna need the bodies. I was gonna say, let me get some Italian tanks, but <laughs> these guys, all right, they're four and three. And then what are the German tanks in terms of four and three? No, they're about the same. Maybe I should get some Italian tanks. Yeah, 237. Yeah, let me order some of those. I'll order a garrison unit. So I can pull the core off the line. So that should help me. Two more units. Let me see what the production cycle is going to be. So it's April, right? Some, I think I got that already. Next month I'm going to get a core. Ooh, I'm going to get a heavy tank. Ooh, I'm going to get some nice stuff here. So good stuff. All right. I think that's about all I can do. I moved the wolf packs, right? My last turn. Ooh. Let's, there we go. What about you, sir? I moved you guys last turn. Alright, and there's nothing else I can do, I don't think. Screening vessel. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Oh, I gotta move the Italian freaking wolf pack here. Alright, I think that's about it. Let us click and turn here. Not much else I can do. I'm probably gonna have to take one entire turn to kind of rebuild my units because all of them are jacked right now. I got the one in the southeast armored core. I was like three, I think. can't believe the freaking Chinese are holding on this tight, man. Really surprised at the Japanese. Ah, they're getting close now. There's no Chinese real infantry force between them and the capital. See, if they had armor, they could surround these units, but... That's their problem. 
Damn, they, they... And you know the Chinese, not Chinese, the Japanese are like, I would say months, if not years away from stockpiling troops, task forces to begin an invasion of the US. Or even Hawaii. They don't even have any resources that they, ooh, I got 394. Nice, Norway and Sweden. So yeah, I, I mean, even if they stack up a couple of infantry units, I mean, by the time they can combine all those naval task forces, we're looking at months. Even if they start right now, which they're not, because they got forces that they're sending to China. Oh, shit, motherfucker. Uh, Alright, good. Damn, man, they're not playing. Shit, they're bringing the entire freaking British Navy. Well, obviously, I can't refit at these ports here. It would be suicidal. That unit was at like eight, I think. We know they have like three or four, or four, four or five aircraft carrier groups there. Please move your heavy tanks too. They're gonna counterattack. They'd be stupid not to. They actually blown back? No, that can't be. No, they're not pulling back. You can see they put another fucking armored unit there. Shit, man. The amount of armored units they're pulling into this fight is ridiculous. I gotta get that wolf pack out as quick as possible. Shit. It's motherfucking bombers. And they're like World War One fighters. Look at this. They're throwing the bombers uh, they're throwing the bombs off the fucking cockpit, man. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna lose that Panzer Corps. I'm gonna lose both Panzer Corps. They're doing us a heavy counterattack. Heavy. Oh shit. I'm still not giving up, man. Still not giving up. I got holes in the line, I'll fill them, but I'm not giving up. I might kinda consolidate, but I'm still gonna push forward. Shit, man. And they got trucks there that can go around my entire flank. I don't know if that was like a last ditch ever to kinda put pressure on me, right? To kinda like hit me in the gut while they kind of like take one or two steps back to kinda like catch that breath. Or if this is actually like, look, we're going to counterattack and we're going to push. <laughs> I 
Oh man, that's exactly what I needed to. I'm gonna have to pull back in the south. I don't have enough forces. Shit, they keep bringing more. That, that's a fucking our rocket. Oh, nice. All right, my turn now. Eighth army destroyed. Ooh, seventh corps destroyed. Heavy, heavy losses. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> of course they got another core there. Of course. Oh, shit. You can see those fucking task forces, landing forces are moving. I can't even deal with the British at this point, right? Like, I, if the British decide to land, I'm going to be hard up to just even handle them. Garrison units. Uh, let me put the garrison units... Let me put you, where can I free up a guy? Put you here and I'll move you. Shit, man. Rocket artillery. Shit. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to break through. I don't think I'll be able to break through. Shit. That's all they were able to reinforce to. It's four. Damn, man. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Obviously, my tanks are in bad shape. Bad... Bad voodoo, man. Took care of that. I, th I feel like if we keep pushing, there we go. Like, I could surround them and cut them off. Now I got this guy cut off. I'll move you here. I'm not gonna pass that bad chance. Knock out their air force. All right, so I'm gonna use these bombers. The problem is, if I, f I can focus everybody on that guy, right? You can't reach that motherfucker. Shit. And the planes, they're good enough to handle one more. All right. I feel like I can, I can, I can make this whole. If I do that, I can get reinforcements to these guys much more easier. Cut these guys off. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's worth it. Or I can hit. This guy. If I hit this guy with everything, I could probably 
move these guys up. Yeah, let's do that. Bomber's going first. Minus two, minus three, fuck me. Minus one. All right, that's okay. Interceptors, escorts. Minus one, minus one, minus one. It's okay. Good. All right. I should soften it up. Shit, not enough. Fuck me. All that work, man. Holy shit, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff, man. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of shit going on. Alright, I got a couple of bombers I can use here. The fighters are <laughs> not in the best of condition. But I feel like if I concentrate here. I feel like I can punch through. That would be two. This guy can't attack. No, it's not going to work. The worst I can do is damage him. But that guy I could probably take out. If I do that, though, these guys can move in. So if I move this guy here, the attack here, Probably destroy a core of theirs. I'm just worried that they're gonna move their forces up. Yeah, probably. Fuck me. If I do that, it'd be harder to make a defensive line just in case they do a massive counterattack. I think the trick is getting. I mean, like, I, hit, I can hit this guy from all three sides. And throw a couple bombers in there. I could probably do some serious damage. I think I'm going to do that. And that guy is so close, so Russian fighters can't really come at me. Which is good. Yeah, there we go. All right. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Not good enough. Not good enough. Alright. 
I'm gonna have to move a fucking guard unit in there. Shit. As you can see, things are not going the way I expected them to go. Good thing is, though, you know, that we could still send in reinforcements now. I mean, it's not, at least it's not going all the way out like that. It's like that, so hopefully maybe I can reinforce this guy a little bit better next time. But overall, oh shit, I can really do some damage there. I'll take two hits, though. Alright, I think that's about it. I can do there. Uh, do an operator move here. Where can I put you? Let's move you north here. Alright, so I'm moving a core there. I'll move. You know, I'm pulling the bottom of the barrel when I'm pulling all these guys from these freaking positions. I mean, these guys that are supposed to be defending. Like mainline Italy, I, I have them <laughs> trading spaces because <laughs> there, there are literally no bodies left. You know, eventually I'm going to stop pulling guys from what, France in essence. Because. Son of a gun, man. You have a whole bunch of US forces. Shit. That spot there. Wow. There's a shit ton. You're in a uh, silent mode. Good thing about it is at least this US task force, it looks like just to be just oh man. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the wolf packs. I think they're around here. I'm gonna handle the US landing force soon. And next turn, I'm going to move this guy to the eastern front. You know what? Screw it. Let's start moving some guys now. And this is some tough stuff. Oh, I could still attack. Gotta keep putting that pressure on, you know what I'm saying? Keep putting that pressure on. Still far from Moscow. The objective. Very far. I mean, I could probably get some advanced units. I could have... I could sacrifice like one or two units. I could probably get there. But I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do that. All right. I think that's all I can do for this. I'm going to buy some stuff now. Let's see. What should I buy? Let's buy some tanks. I think I need some tanks. Yeah, let's buy some tanks. 
and a core. I could buy a core. May, June, I'm going to get two cores. That's going to be good stuff. And then July, I'm going to get a lot. So that's going to be really good. Italians, what can you send me? You're out of cores and you can't buy an army. Can you buy me anti-tank? And you have no maritime bombers. Great. Yeah, I should just wait until they... Check this out. Japan is not at war with Russia. You piece of... You know what I should do? No, nope, I can't. That sucks. Well, you know what I could do, actually? I could actually take command of them, declare war. Mmm, and then just give them back to the AI. That might work. That might work. If I do this, they're going to have to move some considerable resources from dealing with the U.S. But on the second hand, yeah, we should do this because it's going to alleviate. Ooh, that triggered a nice event. All right, so Finland went to war against... Oh, wow. That one thing, man. Wow, okay. So Japan now is at war with USSR. I see that. And oh, yeah. Look what opened up. This is good and bad. Good as in, I now have Finland in on the war. And I'm going to take control over them. Bad is, Russians can overwhelm them and then go after Norway, which <laughs> it's going to be fun. I think right now the trick is you can't go there. What the heck is going on? All right, so Finland is in a war. Ready taking Russian territory, gonna go after Murmansk. I'll take out their naval port, which is gonna be good. Now what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull some forces from this front. It's gonna get lighter before it gets heavier, that's for sure. So that's gonna be very good. I'm going to finish this turn and uh, yeah, I think there's nothing else I can do. Yeah. See, I'm ready bracing, ready bracing. Oh, this guy has action points. Where can I move you? Huh? Shit. Uh, let's see. Got two cores over there. I don't need you down there. I could use you down here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. That should be it for now. So let's click end turn. Man, I'll tell you, my, my palms are literally sweaty with all the shit that's going on. Whew.
this is this this is ooh. I'm telling you, dealing with this Russian behemoth. I know this. I kind of fucked over Japan by doing this, but <laughs> gotta think about myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just the threat. They don't have to really put that many forces in the north, right? They could put maybe one or two armies, maybe one or two corps on top of that, right? Just the threat of force is going to have to have the Russians move a significant chunk of their military to the east, right? Just even stabilize that front, much less send more to even take out the Japanese there. The more they send east, the less they have to deal with in the west. Now that Finland's in the war, right, they can attack from the north, I'm from the west, and just keep nibbling. And whatever they got in the west, they're going to have to redistribute, so... I think in the next turn, or this midterm, whatever, I'm going to start seeing Russian forces not being added, or at least being, more well, possibly even being taken away from the that front. And it can't come any sooner because right now, I there are some U.S. landing forces coming. Now, I don't know if they're going to Britain first and just kind of like chilling there for a little bit, kind of resting up and getting ready for the big push or they're gonna just gonna land in France if they they could land in France even if they have three or four units they could do that because honestly with my forces in France I got what, like one two three I think like four cores one Italian core so a little over an army right possibly maybe even two arms right Are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking kidding me, right? I mean, it, it, I mean, it's not that traumatic. But, you know, it's not like a small country. You know, it's not like Mexico coming in on the war. You know, it's not like, oh, you know... I'm trying to think of it as a really small, like a small island nation coming in on the war. I'll be like, ah, whatever, you know. New Zealand, you know, coming in on the war, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to have to deal with it. But Mexico, I think the reason Mexico would be a problem because they could probably put a lot of bodies into the war. A couple of corps, a couple of armies. And there goes that. Shit. Shit. Yeah, it's no joke what the U.S. is doing. Alright, you see them moving? You can keep moving. Oh, shit, they move forward. Ah, you hear it? I heard the train departing the station. They ain't coming closer. It's going further away. Which is good shit. They are redeploying, though, on the front. Shit, man. They're not playing games, man. The U.S. has a massive task force in the East. Oh, they're already hitting land forces in Brest. Shit. 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 They're trying to stop my freaking land forces. Trying to, like, pepper at me. They literally have no front line in the south from what I'm noticing. I mean, they got a couple of cores. I think they're stalling for time in the south. Ooh, they actually got to push me back. And now they're going to make it. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going to lose an armored core. I'm going to lose two armored cores. Shit. Losing two armored cores. 
in this state of the war, that would be a significant blow. A significant blow. I wouldn't be able to replace him. Oh shit, the Italian. Oh shit. Plus one armored core, one Italian armored core. That is not good. The spearhead has been, the, the, the freaking blade has been dulled quite a bit. Oh, motherfucker, how many tanks do you own, man? Fuck. Why are you pulling out? What are you doing? That's stupid. They just love that core kind of open to being surrounded. I can't believe I lost that many cores, man. And I can't reinforce that core all the way out. Either I get them back into the main front line or they're gonna be destroyed. The loss of three armored core, German and Italian. That's 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 gonna be a tough pill to swallow, man, I'll tell you. Because right now, the as you can see, the Russians have a shit ton of tanks. Losing tanks and them gain oh and them gaining tanks is a problem. Good. Seven Panzer Corps is destroyed. All right, took out 14 MPs. Every little bit helps, you know? I really don't care about their CVs. Oh, actually, maybe I should. I should have one wolf back take out their corps. I wonder what a sub versus aircraft carrier task force would do. All right, this is, where should I put them? Put them in the north. The south is hard up for troops. I think I'm gonna put them in the south. Right there. Can I reinforce you? Get you up to six. That's good. That's good. Nice. Ooh, this might be good. That hole. Shit. I made the hole, but I can't fucking fill it. Shit. Fuck me. Shit. If I move him here, I can have this unit go there. Damn it. So this is where a paratrooper would come in handy. Damn it. That unit's gonna take a hit the next turn. That gamble didn't really pay off, did it? If I do this, ah, it's not gonna work. A lot of these tanks are in bad shape, man. Let's 
So literally this turn I couldn't really even utilize any of my Northern Element tanks. They're just... Sitting ducks. Damn, man. Shit, their artillery is gonna fucking... Minus six. That's good. Any damage I can do to there. Alright. As you can see, it's slowing down. That's the biggest problem of all. Oh, fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I wanted you to not bomb them. I wanted you... Fucking move there, you stupid fuck. This next turn you can attack. Alright, I'm gonna move this massive artillery guy here. This, uh... No, fucker. Uh, I'm gonna move him... I feel like I should move him here. Maybe there. That should be a good spot. Yeah. The only problem is if they attack and then break this guard unit. But I feel like if I move them there, I can really rain down some. One, two. Maybe here. Oh yeah, you can attack. Bucker. Hit him there. Move you up here. Oh, fuck. Come on. Give me some good news, Donnie. There goes your bombers. Hold on, before I do anything stupid. I know I'm leaving them open here, but I don't think he'll take that big because I can cut him off. Shit. Alright. Damn. Everybody else went, right? Get that guy there. Yeah, let's destroy that unit. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Fucking kidding me. Couldn't even do that. These two units that can attack, I'll reinforce you to eight. Man, a lot of my units are in bad shape. 
Bad mojo. Where can I put you? You can't even go there, can you? Not here. Remove this Italian. Can't go too close to the front, that's the problem. I wonder if I move this Italian out of the way if I can get direct access there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it because I don't think this guy can really do anything for me anyway. It's my server anyway. Alright, operate. Fuck, I still can't. Alright, whatever. Let us another, move another core to the east. I know it's risky. It's very risky. Actually, I have four cores still in five cores. I literally have two armies in France, so that's still good. All right, dealing with the naval shit. I'm gonna move. Oh, motherfucker! Fuck me! Hunt. Let's cut them down here. Set mode. Hunt. Let us come off here. There we go. Good. Set mode. Hunt. Fuck me. They're everywhere, man. Do I have any more? Oh, I got this guy. I keep forgetting about these guys. I get them out of port and I always forget about them. Just screening vessels and I got one strike. So this is gonna bring me in me some nice MPs. Shit, all that freaking money I spent on reinforcements. That's a lot of money that I spent. In the whole thing there. All right, I bought another army for the uh, Italians. This is tough, man. This is tough, tough, tough. I can't move you guys right because I bought you stuff. I mean, so in this turn, I think I did pretty well, honestly, because I kind of, you know, this bulge here, I kind of have these guys kind of pulling back a little bit. I mean, he's going to be fucked, but I think overall, oh, I can have you attack. Can I, I might have to just pull this guy back. I don't want him to be attacked from all these different sides. And he's a 10th Panzer, 10th Panzer Grenadier. So he's, he's very useful. And um, the only thing is, I don't think they're gonna. If I do that, then this guy's fucked completely. There's no way. Having this guy here, it's a possibility that whatever unit they put here, I can destroy and cut them off. I'm gonna take that risk. I'm gonna take that risk. All right. And uh, let me see how the Japanese are doing. How's that border coming? So they, you see, they put a guy here, and then these are Russians. Japanese are moving some forces there. If they take Vladivostok, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Japanese are gonna be pissed off, but it's fine. I'm be like, why are you moving me? I handling my players, my tokens here. But them just being on the outskirts of Vladivostok, I feel like they're just gonna move another core or two just based on that. Why the fuck can't I move here? I can't do the zone of control, I wonder why. I have to go like 
the old fashioned way. Oh, enemy contact. There's another guard unit in Murmansk. They better be starting to sweat. You can see the Russians putting more cores in there. Getting a little worried. That's what they're getting. They're getting a little worried. Got a little sweat dripping down their brow. Alright, I think I'm good to go for this turn. I'm gonna have to move you, actually. I'm gonna move you to Paris. I know the attack is coming here. So, just gonna deal with that quietly. And there's nothing else I can do. Everybody did their turns, right? Yes, sir. I think everybody did their turns, except this guy. There's not much else I can do. All right. I always feel like I'm forgetting something when I do that. moving troops to the Chinese frontier. <laughs> so consolidating by Truck Island. I wonder why. I would figure they would keep their task force by Hawaii. If you can't take that anti-aircraft, come on, you got a, a marine unit and you got a infantry armory. Should be able to easily destroy that. Just getting hung up on this one unit. Oh, finally. I think the problem with China is that there's so many rivers there. And the Japanese always get caught on the opposite end. So they take heavy losses. I don't see anything happen near Vladivostok. I moved your unit for you. Where is that? Oh, that's by Australia. Why are you going after Vietnam? Only well, we launched a battleship, huh? Still is no point. A 404, nice. 404 on MP, that's gonna help me out next turn. Alright, here go the allies. They are going to do damage. Yeah, you see? It's okay, I'll just move some forces there. It's not like they're actually attacking me, they're going for Slovakia, so it's it's not like you know. Everywhere, man. It's like our motto of ships. I remember I saw like an old World War II film, and I forgot the name of it, but 
it had to deal with the invasion of Normandy, all right? And it was focused on some guys in a bunker, right, on the Normandy shore, Axis of German soldiers. And a massive bombardment happened, right? And the, you see all the Allied ships on the horizon just firing, right? and just you know, destruction. And I remember one German singling at his headquarters, just like, there's about 5,000 ships, and some guy was going like, the Allies don't have that. I was like, come here and look, you know? I believe it now. <laughs> you know, I believe it now, because like, oh shit. Shit. That army's gonna get fucked. I have to pull him back. Going from four to two. Oh shit, British armor. And I lost an entire army. Shit. I can't replace that, man. That's two armies completely destroyed. And a uh, Panzer Grenadier Corps. Shit. Wow. Horrendous losses. Horrendous losses. Panzer Grenadier and two army units that I cannot replace. Oh shit. It's okay, I'll just swing around. That pass. I'm gonna have to pull back, man. There's just too much shit going on. I'm gonna have to reallocate these soldiers. I haven't even gotten really far, like... Wait, what the fuck's going on? There's something exploding. Where's Minsk? I think Minsk is somewhere around here, right? Oh, there's Minsk. I think this is Minsk. I'm on the outskirts of Minsk. After like a year of fighting, I'm on the outskirts of Minsk. So I haven't gone that far. Oh shit. You know, I gotta redistribute forces to the south. Leaving that hole, I think that was a mistake. I think the reason being, yes. I mean, that core was one unit strong. One trench unit, not much. I, I worry that they're gonna open up that hole more in Slovakia. I have to, yeah, 14th and the third army. Core surrendered. I got U.S. forces in the... Alright. So as you can see, I lost two armies. I can replace them with two cores. So you can imagine that's not optimal. That should take care of that hole, I think. So, oh shit, heavy tank versus heavy tank. That's gonna be interesting. Alright, so that should cut him off.
I wonder if I do this. It's probably a stupid move because they got too many troops. I'm not going to do some stupid moves like that. As you can see, they definitely filled that hole. You know, there's a part of me, even though I took these losses, that I should keep going. Keep going on the offensive. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I should. Because I'm doing actually pretty well, considering. Cut that guy off. Well, not really. Almost. I feel like if I move this guy here... Damn it. I was thinking of like moving this guy here and attacking him from the rear. I could probably. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. I mean, if I move the tank there, I probably could. But I feel like. I feel like I should pull back a little bit. You know, these forward units, pull them back just a little bit. The reason being is losing two army is gonna really hurt. It really does hurt, honestly, because. Like, these are units that I can't just place easily. But in terms of numbers-wise, I, I think I have more numbers in them. They have two cores here. I have a shit ton, as you can see. I can just... good that's fine bombers all right how much does that improve me it doesn't do shit let's hit this core That's okay, because then... Are you serious? Are you fucking telling me it didn't really do much? Fuck. Alright. 
Damn it, man. Making stupid fucking decisions. All right. I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. I really would love... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. One? Are you kidding me? I barely touched that fucking guy. Oh, shit. Went too far. So, I mean, looking at it strategically... You know... It's tough. I mean, I have a big hole here. And I have, like, the Soviets not cut in two, but... Their front line is is taking a hit. Good, you cut him off, so that's very good. Ah, uh, they brought a core up. It's okay, once I take this, that guy's in the north will be out of commission. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Shit. Fucking everywhere. What I'm gonna do? Since they're all the way by me, I'm actually going to go by them. I'm going to bring the war. Fuck. How many fucking carry task forces do they have? That's what I'm going to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send these wolf packs. I'm gonna freaking hit them here. Cause if they're all over here, I feel like they're all in this area. There's probably only a little or few here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Take care of the, take care of business. All right, and then I'm gonna leave it here guys. I hope you guys like this, this episode here. If you guys have any feedback, I'd be willing to look at it. Cause I'm uh, kind of curious. I mean, I have a couple of turns I can do here. One for four, I, that, that does sound good. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Nice, okay, good. Move you here. Shit. Trading blow for blow, man. Either way, though, it's it's turning out good. It really is. Taking out, I mean, they literally knocked out most of their armor. They only have these two little crappy light tanks. And I got some well, heavy tanks. <laughs> got a lot of medium tanks, and I even got a, a, a heavy core tank. And these guys here, they're gonna, well, they're gonna run out of supply before they're out of five supplies so they can still operate for quite a bit but they're behind the lines they're gonna feel that in a little bit so all right guys i'll catch you in the next one